that's going to be it from me and you, I believe. We're yeah. going to be throwing to Rick, who's on the stage, the GM of EVO. Let's hear from him. Nice. Rick hey, here everybody. to celebrate KI. Mike, check. So for those of you that I saw just get up, if you are a Killer Instinct fan like myself, who has been celebrating and playing this game for the last decade, I would advise you to stick around and turn your eyes to the screen, because I have one more thing for you. Be right back, chat. Oh, what's up, dudes? Max here. I what? What? The last person you were expecting to see here, but I wanted to give a huge shout out to the community. I wish I could be there, but seeing Killer Instinct come back to Evo after so many years the game has been on hiatus is absolutely awesome. To see the game supported in so many ways all these years is truly incredible. But there is something else, and I would like to introduce James Goddard, who is the head of Killer Instinct over at Microsoft. Hey, thanks, Max. Can you believe it's been 10 years since we were here with a special showcase at EVO showing KI for the first time with the developers from Double Helix? I think you were up there, and wow, it was incredible. The energy was so great, all the combos, all the combo breakers, people going, we should be able to do something with those combo breakers, we did with counter breakers. The whole time we would listen to our players, and it's time again where this KI, which we've been having so much fun with, it's time to evolve it one more time. Evolve. So does that mean that the, the Killer Instinct that we are still currently playing is going to get something new of some kind? Yeah, uh, we are going to start with updating all the matchmaking and other services to modern play them. We actually kicked that off back in May when we migrated, started migrating everybody's accounts. But we are also going to take advantage of Xbox Series X and S and optimize KI for a 4K patch and more. More. So we're 10 years into Killer Instinct now, and obviously it's been five years since there's been any substantial updates to Killer Instinct in any way. Are you saying we're actually getting that update? Well, I'm very excited to say that we have some friends back also working on the game. And I'd like to reintroduce you to Adam Hart from Iron Galaxy, our lead combat designer. Hi everybody, we're back. <laughs> we're doing more Killer Instinct. Uh, it's pretty amazing that after 10 years, the number of people playing this game online every week is still incredibly high. And there are online tournaments and offline tournaments constantly throughout the year. The level of play keeps getting higher and higher and higher. It's pretty astounding, and I'm, I'm pretty amazed that uh, we're, we're back. So, uh, James, how are you feeling about it? I am so excited about this, and we are officially doing a balance patch. Not, ju not just a balance patch, a like balance update coming in the fall it's been five years since our last balance update which is kind of amazing and unprecedented to, to be able to revisit a game that has kind of had the dust settle for this long um, i think players have really pushed the upper limits of everything that's possible with the game and uh, maybe it's time to ask some of those top minds who are still playing the game what they think needs to change to keep the game healthy and keep it interesting and refresh it a bit and on a personal note you know our final character eagle he only got a couple of game updates because we only had a few left uh, after he came out. So this is a very exciting thing that we're, we're going to be doing for you guys, uh, a new balance patch for KI. And we did promise that if enough players entered KI at Combo Breaker, we'd find a time machine and nerf Rash. So uh, we found the time machine. Wow. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm in a time machine right now because Killer Instinct is the game that just keeps on going. And so many people are still continually playing it, like you guys said. And now there's gonna be an even bigger reason to jump in and check out KI. This balance patch, I'm very much looking forward to, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So James, Adam, thank you all. And to everybody at EVO, don't worry, there's more information coming soon, and we'll be back with more on what's going on with KI for this 10th anniversary update. I had to put a shirt on, I'm sorry. Not bad, right? I'm sorry, I had so, to put my shirt back on. Just so that we can prove that's not a fever dream that I'm really excited to be here for, please welcome to the stage the head what I miss? Killer Instinct over at Xbox, James Goddard. What did I miss? Nothing? Did I miss anything? Nah. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. And I am here, I just want to hop up real quick to say, hey, it's been an amazing 10 years. I want to personally pass on the thanks 
from all the development teams that have worked on KI. From KI's Double getting Helix updated? What? To Iron Galaxy to, of course, my no home way. Xbox, all of us. I mean, it's unbelievable what I just saw 10 years later. You know, we shot to, to launch KI season one, eight characters, you know, we thought it was going to be cool and amazing. Who would have thought? 29 characters, 10 years, four incredible players, two EVO champions, just insane gameplay. I mean, you guys made this happen. This is why we did it, and this is why we're doing a balance update and a major, major upgrade to all PlayFab services. Your matchmaking's a lot smoother, tournaments are easier, and more KI for the next 10 years. Let's go. That's a cool announcement. And for everyone else still here, we're gonna jump to a quick commercial break because we've got some bills to pay. But immediately after that- Damn, I wish I could have been there in the audience. Damn, I wish I could have been there. Everyone was popping off like crazy. I wish I could have been there, dude. They, had, they got to cut back and everyone was losing their minds. So yeah. 10th anniversary KI update. Uh, kind of neat. Kind of neat. Ain't nothing else to talk about right now other than, you know, this uh, unprecedented ass shit that a fighting game goes on hiatus for five years and the developers coming back to, to, to work on it. Wow. Cool. <laughs>